visualize this. You get a book handed to you, and in this book is every single thing you did. From the moment you were born to the moment you died, every single second and every single action you did was in there. Everything good and everything bad, including this moment right now. To be honest, you might be wasting your time and you're on another YouTube binge. Would you be happy with what you did in life? Would you be happy with all of these deeds in this record? Or, if you're like most of us, would you be regretful for the time you wasted? Most people are going to receive this book and it's honestly going to be the worst news of their entire life. They're going to see this entire dunya and realize they made nothing of it. If you're Muslim, this is a scary thing to think about. The fact that you might have wasted the only opportunity you have to get into Jannah. The truth is, everyone's going to have regrets on the Day of Judgment. Even the most righteous people. People are going to wish they did anything extra. Even if it's just, for example, saying one dhikr. That might be the difference between you going to Jahannam and you going to Jannah. Real quick, my name is Halim. I help young Muslims go from losers to winners. Check out the top link in the description if you want to break free from procrastination, inshallah ta'ala. So listen, you've probably heard of this idea of thinking about your future self and delaying gratification. It's very common in like the self-improvement space. People talk about the fact that you can't think about pleasing yourself now but instead you have to please your future self. And to do this, you have to do actions that reflect delayed gratification, meaning you don't get pleasure now, but you get pleasure later. So you probably already know the actions, working out, eating healthy, pretty much doing anything productive with your life. And of course, I'm not gonna sit here and say this is a bad mindset. This is definitely something good, but there's actually a deeper version of this and something that if you're a Muslim, you have to understand. And that's the fact that even thinking about your future self is not enough. What you have to do is start thinking about yourself on the day of judgment. Every time before you do an action, think to yourself, am I going to regret this on the day of judgment or is it going to be a source of pleasure for me on the day of judgment? Every time before you sit down and scroll or binge YouTube or do all of these bad habits, think to yourself, am I on the day of judgment going to look back on this time and be happy I used it in this way? The obvious answer is no, you're not. But in fact, you're not just going to be a little bit regretful. You're going to actually hate yourself. You're going to hate yourself for the fact that you wasted your life. This is the reason why what I'm saying might sound harsh, but the truth is, the way I'm saying it is way less harsh than the way you're going to talk about yourself. The way you're going to talk about yourself and the actions that you did when you're going to look back on it on the day of judgment. I could literally start cursing at you. <laughs> I could start getting mad at you, but that's not even going to be a fraction of the amount of anger you're going to have for yourself. So I want you to implement this mindset. Before you do any action, think to yourself, on the day of judgment, is this something I'm going to be proud of? If the answer is no, just understand you're going to hate yourself for doing that action. You're literally going to start cursing at yourself and thinking, how are you so stupid to waste this opportunity? If you implement this, then inshallah, you'll actually start valuing your life. You'll value your time and you'll actually start being productive and you'll cut back on those bad habits. And that's why the Day of Judgment is known as the Day of Regret. You're gonna regret so many things. For example, even your friends. Even your friends that you might really like, you love spending time with them, they might be the source of your regret on the Day of Judgment. You have to be super critical of yourself and not just think about this moment and what's pleasurable right now, but instead what's gonna be pleasurable on the Day of Judgment. And probably the worst thing is wasting time with scrolling and YouTube and social media because you could just spend this time doing anything good. Like imagine looking back on your record of deeds and being proud of yourself. Being proud that you did so much good in this life. For example, just doing zikr so you maximize the time you spend in ibadah. Just that alone will probably make yourself proud and could be the difference that you need. Basically just doing anything to maximize the time you spend pleasing Allah and minimize the time you spend wasting. And also invest in sadaqa jariyas, meaning things that are going to give you good deeds even after you pass away. This could be as simple as just making a few social media posts that are going to get hundreds or thousands of views and each of those are going to give you good deeds. Or it could be a really big aspiration like trying to build masjids all across the world. You want to have these really ambitious projects that seem really difficult, but when you look back on them, you're going to be so proud of yourself that you actually attempted it. But the scary thing is, no matter what you do and no matter how good you are, you're always going to have regrets over what you did or what you didn't do. At the end of the day, we're all human and the day of judgment is the day of regret. Anyways, that's all I have for this video. Don't forget to not stop making dua to Allah. Check out Clean Islamic Studio in the description. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.